I decided not to partake in my weekly reset and just lounge around the house and we're now at the end of the week and it's time to get things back in order. I know it doesn't look bad, but it's not what I'm used to. First things first, we're going to start with cleaning our bathrooms and bathrooms with the S because I have multiple. These are the products that I like to use. Feel free to use what you like. First things first, we're going to go ahead and clean our toilet bowl, but I like to allow my products to sit while I clean other parts of the bathroom and also making sure that there is a low water level. Now we're going to go ahead and start cleaning our sink. Again, these are the products that I like to use in my home. I don't like for my bathrooms or any of the areas that I clean to smell like bleach. So I decide to use products with a smell to them um, and also products that don't clash with each other. If you guys have never used a scrub daddy sponge before with cleaning products, I highly recommend them. I know a lot of people only use them to wash their dishes with, but I typically take any of the old ones or just buy ones for the bathroom cleaning only. But when I tell you it gets up all the stains and scuffs without any harsh products, it's a game changer. So the way that my shower is set up is the reason I like to use scrub daddies because of the amount of products that we hold on the shelf. They tend to leave a lot of water stains and I found that using a rag, it still didn't look clean. So that's how I discovered using a scrub daddy. And now we're just gonna use this Clorox wand from Target. It is amazing. So now we're gonna go ahead and clean our toilet bowl out. And again, I've let the product sit while I do other parts of the bathroom. And then I also have a Clorox tablet in the inside of my toilet. So when it flushes, you can still smell and it's still cleaning. And then I just like to add this Lysol gel inside the toilet. All right, now let's clean bathroom number two. I have three full bathrooms, but you guys typically only see me clean the main two bathrooms that are used. My third bathroom does get clean, but it's just once a month. These two get clean weekly. As you guys can see, I'm using another scrub daddy, so please stop throwing away your scrub daddies once you're done cleaning your dishes. Turn them into cleaning pads, or just buy some that are gonna be used specifically for the bathroom. Thank me later. So recently I've decided to change my cleaning products for mopping wise just because I have a puppy and I have to be very cautious about the products that I'm cleaning with. We're just going to use some OG Pine Saw and boiling hot water. Please make sure you are disinfecting your toilet bowl cleaners. I just like to pour boiling hot water on them and then each holder has Mr. Clean in it. Now we're going to use our O Cedar mop and mop all of the areas in my home that do not have carpet, which is the bottom half of the home, as well as any bathrooms upstairs and my laundry room. So it does take a lot to mop all of the areas. I typically boil three kettles full of water and just make sure to mop all of the areas. Now that we're done, this is what we got up. So yeah, make sure you're mopping them floors. And this is the final look. This is what we're looking like. Bathrooms are cleaned. Everything is organized, wiped down, all germ free. If you don't light a candle once you're done, are you really cleaning? Think about it. Now we're gonna go downstairs and just Febreze our seating areas. I'm very big on scents. I don't like to sit on anything and then get a whiff of a smell. So just some Febreze and that'll kill any odors. We're at the end of this vlog and this is what it looks like. As you guys know, I'm very big on cleaning my kitchen. So rule number one, we will never go to sleep with a dirty kitchen. Now let's go upstairs and fold this laundry before it be sitting in this basket for day number two. I'll see you guys in my next one.